Russian President Vladimir Putin says it's essential air crash investigators in Ukraine have the security they need to do their work. His statement comes amid growing anger over pro-Russian rebels restricting access to the crash site and accusations that Russia was involved. Tom Barton reports from Moscow. President Vladimir Putin blames Ukraine for the disaster, saying that Ukrainian government forces should not be fighting pro-Russian militants. He also says nobody has the right to use this tragedy for political ends. For its part, Russia will do everything that we can so that the conflict in eastern Ukraine moves from today's military phase to a discussion phase at the negotiating table by peaceful and diplomatic means. Russia has called for Ukraine to stop its troops fighting in the east of the country. Ukraine demands Russia make the militants withdraw. And the clashing viewpoints don't end there. Russia's defense ministry says that a Ukrainian military jet was flying close to the Malaysian airliner around the time that it crashed. Ukraine maintains that the plane was shot down by a Russian-supplied missile system and crew. Despite Moscow's denials, stoking the fighting in the east of Ukraine and using this tragedy for political ends are precisely the charges Kiev and other governments level at Moscow. The Russians, they went into full denial. I believe that it was much more better for Moscow and for the rebels, and especially for Moscow, to go clean and not to begin uh, kind of, uh, well, not to stop lying all the time. And they are lying right now. The costs for Moscow are already rising. Russia's ruble-denominated MISEX stock index has fallen below 1,400 points for the first time since mid-May, with Reuters news agency reporting that investors are worried about the effect of conflict and sanctions. Tom Barton, CCTV, Moscow.